So I kind of want the same thing as we do for the syllabus over here so we can search our users and see our users. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shut down everything here because there's a lot of open tabs right now. I'm going to jump into my syllabus um, controller here and just see what we actually used in the syllabus. Well, it seems that we're going to use most of this. We want some kind of service for our user. We want some kind of socket setup, some auth, and scope and state also makes sense. So I'll just copy all of these dependencies and I'll add them to the user controller. The scope is already there. So let's just save this. Okay, well, we don't need the syllabus service, so let's remove that. And instead, I think we have a user service under auth components down here. So I'm going to use that instead. And I can see the name of the service is just user. I'm going to copy that and paste that in here right after the auth. There we go. So now we have the needed libraries to work with our user. So what did we do as step one in the syllabus um, controller? Well, we made a few, uh, we, we just made sure that things are authenticated. We can copy that as well, that makes sense. I'll delete this old stuff save and now we can check out if things are authenticated that makes sense what else do we need here uh, the one i don't need that i want to query the user just like we're doing here so i'm just going to copy the syllabus service here to query but instead of querying on the syllabus service i'll query on the user service and instead of getting back syllabuses hopefully i'll get back a list of users i'm just doing this to show you guys how you can reuse your code um, Maybe you don't want to copy paste, you write and write in hands. Sometimes that's faster, uh, so do that instead. I want to add this to also be able to add the socket IO. I want to be sure that it'll actually try to synchronize when a new user is added, it'll add that new user to my list. So that's kind of, now we have the users available as well. What else did we do for our control up here? Let's look at it. We created a syllabus, we don't want that right now. We deleted a syllabus, that might make sense. We'll do that in a second. Um, and then we kind of destroy it. This, the last one here actually means that when you shut down this controller, I want to make sure that I unsync again. So we don't have listeners listening for changes to users on pages that are actually destroyed. That'll give you memory leaks. It'll, it'll make sure your code starts eating more and more RAM. So we want to make sure that even as soon as we shut down this controller, we also unsynchronize with the user, so we also have to add this to our user setup here. Let's just do that as well. There we go. And I'll just, instead of doing this, I'll have to type in what I'm actually unsyncing. And we'll get back into sockets later to try to explain that. So right now I have my controller here. It has all the information needed. So I should actually be able to show all the users. And again, I'm going to just try and steal what we have here because it looked fine before. I want to keep the nav bar. I want some kind of header. And let's just grab all of this. Also the footer, let's just grab it all. It looks fine. I'm going to delete everything in the current user one. And let's see, instead of saying course planner here, I wanna say user management or something like that. There we go. What else do we have? We wanna only show this if it's authenticated. Well, that makes sense since we can't even get in here unless we're actually an admin. I want more control here. So where do we have something that's checking if you're actually an admin? I think I have something down here. Let's just grab this one, auth is admin. I'll just copy this guy. I'm showing you this again, just to show you how I'm going to steal code from other areas, just to um, get going here. If you're used to this, you don't want to do this, you'll just write it manually, but you can find all the pieces of the puzzles right now in the code we have to actually build this full featured web application. So instead of asking if I'm authenticated, I actually want to know that I'm actually an admin to even show this. Okay, so that's the difference here. What do we have here? Let's have a look. We have a syllabus title. I don't want any of this because this was actually the form to create a new user. I don't want that anymore. I just want to list all the users. So I want to list all users. Um, if I click it, I'm not going to do anything right now. Later, we'll go to details maybe. Let's figure it out. So I'm going to point to the users. And remember, when I'm in an ng repeat and I'm writing users, I'm looking for something called users on the scope. And luckily, right here we have a scope with the name of users as soon as we've pulled out all the users. Awesome. Then each user I want to be called a user. That makes sense. Instead of having an image here, we could add that. I don't want that right now. 
I'm going to ask for the username. There we go. What else does the user have? Let's see inside our model down here on the server side of the code. A user has a name, an email, a list of roles. We'll get back to those. That's pretty much all we need. So let's just show the name and the email of each user. So here we're putting in the user name and then let's just put in the user email below this one. Remember when you're working with stuff from a scope or from a controller, you have to put it inside these curly brackets for now. That will change in Angular 2, but let's get back to that in another lesson. We still want to delete this guy, but instead of doing this, we'll say, um, instead of doing this, we'll say delete user with the current user. And that's not created yet. We'll do that in the following lessons. But I'm just pointing, I want to do the delete user function and I want to use the user I'm getting from right here. And if I'm not an admin and I should get my way in here somehow, I want to say if you're not an admin, log in to see anything. That looks great. Let's see if this works now, if we actually did change it. So now we have the users here. Now the reason I cannot point on these guys right now is because I don't have an ng click in there. Um, so notice that when I hold my mouse here, I don't have any pointer. So let's just add an ng click because it could make sense to go in that way to change the user. So let's just get that back. ng click equals, and let's call it edit user and just add the user in there. There we go. I'll save this. Now it should pretty much be done. Now you can see now the mouse is actually here as well. So now I'm ready for user management. In the next lesson, we'll try to actually do something with these clicks, but now we have a service set up, we have a controller set up, and we actually have so that we can click each user and see him in a list. See you in the next lesson.